What's up guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to build this uh, canola power plant. It's pretty compact and it also can be added on to grow crops for you if you'd like. But we're going to go over this part first. So what you want to do is break out a 6 by 3 area. Ground here. Next you want to add in some sort of cable. I'm going to use the leadstone flux duct. It's the cheapest one for uh, early game. Next you want to come over here, break out two cables like that, or two pieces of ground and put in cables. Then you're going to want to place your aqueous accumulator right here in the middle and just surround it by water. After that we're going to get our oil press, which or oil uh, generator, from Actually Additions. You can place these down in each one of the corners. And then uh, we need to grab a fermenter. So we put the fermenters on each side like this. A trash can between these two closest to the aqueous accumulator. A leadstone flux duct, which is also kind of cheap early game, right here in the center. And then finally, we want our canola press. This is going to break the canola down into oil, send it into the fermenting barrels, and then upgrade the oil in this and send it into the oil generators to produce our power. So finally, we want our garden cloche from immersive engineering and uh, actually first before we do that let's put down our pipes there, you, there we go we have to do it at the edge right there so we got our pipes here coming out like that now we want to place our garden cloches and make sure that when you do place these uh, this part is facing towards the oil generators this little thing right there so next we want to get our nodes from Actually Additions, and you don't need grid power for these, they work without it. You're going to place them like that. Also in your trash can, you want a canola filter. So if you look inside here, it's whitelisting canola seeds. And that's so you don't get clogged up with canola seeds outside there. So we just put that guy in there, and now it will only accept canola seeds into here. So. Uh, after that, we want to come into our garden cloches, put in our dirt, put in our canola seed, and you notice it went up and our water is filling up in the tanks too. I used the aqueous accumulator because it doesn't need power. So let's just get these in here. If you notice, the crops aren't growing yet because we don't have power going to these top ones right here. We'll get to that in a minute. But Next we want to grab our pipes and place them like this. And then we're going to put down a item barrel from Yaba, or actually, yeah, it is from Yaba. So what that'll do is kind of give you a backlog of your uh, canola once you do start producing some. So one other thing we do need for our barrel is called a hopper upgrade. This hopper upgrade is going to allow us to uh, allow this barrel to act like a hopper and send the canola down into the press without actually having to use any of these pipes. So we do that. Next, and what's the final step? Well, not final, but actually we'll get to this. So you're gonna wanna put all these on orange, all of them except for the bottom one. You want this to be blue, that's important because the power is gonna come from the bottom, fill this thing up, and then it's going to send it into our uh, canola press on the back here. Now the only downside to this is that you do need to jump start the system but once it's started it's set and forget it'll keep running no matter what forever as long as uh, it doesn't blow up but it's really compact and uh, as you can see over here we've got a 2 million RF already built up and I'm just gonna jump start it using the other farm but you can use uh, a coal generator or any kind of really weak uh, energy source so if we just connect that in it's gonna start filling this up and you'll see back here that uh, these have started growing and they actually grow quite fast so you'll uh, we can actually just cut that off already so once these are done growing it'll take the canola automatically out of here it'll trash can the seeds and put the canola in here but if we get rid of this real quick and look down here it's uh, uh, sending it right in there and it's already producing the canola so eventually it does take a bit to warm up and uh, produce everything it needs to 
to run these at full capacity but once it does get going and all the buffers and everything are filled up this thing is amazing and the best part about it is it it's an infinite resource so you're never going to run out of this it's just going to continuously produce power for you without you ever having to do anything so that's the power side of this all right on to the uh farming part of this if you want to turn this into a farming station too so we're just going to place down a uh, maybe two or three, yeah, you can put down as many as you like, but we'll just go with three. So you want to grab your uh, fluid pipe from Immersive Engineering and bring it over. <coughs> Sorry about that. And that's going to start filling your water tanks up. So now we want to just uh, do the same thing we did before, is we're going to fill these up with our seeds and our dirt. Let's grab a few of those. And this is going to be growing uh, vanilla wheat. But you can use uh, other modded things in here. So next, we want to bring over our power, like so, and that should actually start growing it already. Next, we want to do the same thing: is grab our nodes, and you'd want to uh, trash can your seeds, just like before. So I'm gonna this time. I think I'm going to. Yeah, we can do the same. So. We do need that uh, filter that's in here, but we just want to change it. Instead of doing that, we're going to put in our seeds. Like that. So now it'll only take these, but it refuses all other items. After that, we want to bring it out. And since uh, we're not actually doing any of that other stuff, we're just going to place this down, and that'll collect uh, any sort of wheat that uh, comes out of here. So there we go, we already got two wheat, and this barrel holds 4,000. You can upgrade it pretty cheaply, actually, to uh, produce, or not produce, but hold way more items than what it is. As you can see, it's only been about five, 10 minutes, and I've already got 180 or so uh, canola saved up here, and all this is done up. but. That's all you need to do to add this to make this a self-sustaining farm. And uh, you can also add on to here with more uh, garden cloches or if you like, you can pull the power out and power your machines using this. But I recommend uh, when you do try to power this, these generators right here are only producing 80 RF a tick, which comes out to be about 320 RF. So what you do is turn your output down to 300 because if you do drain out too much energy out of this, it'll actually shut it off. So keep that in mind, and that's uh, all. Yeah, that's about it.